This small hole, only 15 centimeters in diameter, is actually a salt well over 1000 m deep. Who would have thought it was 187 years old? It was dug entirely by hand. The brine can still be pumped out today. The black brine is the brine with the highest salt content. In a time when there was no electricity or machinery, how did they dig the wells to make salt? They first used the principle of leverage, by lifting and dropping an iron file, using gravity to break up the rocks in the well. It took 15 years to cut through the rock. The salt wells were cut to a depth of 1,000 meters, to get the brine up from 1,000 meters down. They also invented the brine drawer. The bamboo was first opened up from the inside, at the bottom. A one-way valve was made from cooked cowhide. When the brine drawer is inserted into the salt well, the brine automatically fills the bamboo tube under pressure. When the tube is lifted, the brine closes the valve by its own gravity. The brine is then pumped up. A full brine drawer usually weighs several hundred pounds. They can't be pulled up by hand alone, so they were clever enough to. They built a 118-meter high crane out of pine wood. It was 40 stories high. Foreigners called it the Eiffel Tower of the East. Then, Using pulleys on top of the crane, they changed the direction of the force. Then a huge mullen is turned by bull power. The ropes are slowly tightened. In this way, without much effort, the hundreds of pounds of brass are lifted up. The bamboo tubes are then used to build a pipeline. The brine is then transported to several thousand pots. The brine is brought to a boil over a high fire. At this point, the brine still contains various harmful metals. They then add soy milk to the pot. The proteins in the soy milk. This allows the harmful substances in the brine such as magnesium chloride, to coagulate. The solids are then salvaged with a slotted spoon. After adding the soya bean milk 20 times, the brine will become clear and transparent. This natural purification method, the well salt retains dozens of trace elements. Next, cover the wooden pot with a lid. The brine is then steamed for two hours, until the water falls and the salt comes out. Then it becomes salt, the best of all flavors. In Zigong. Sichuan province. There are abundant underground salt brine resources. There are more than 13,000 salt wells like this, the equivalent of more than 400 Mount Everest wells cut by hand. The oldest salt wells are 2,000 years old. What's even more incredible is that the natural gas used to cook the salt also comes from these salt wells. As early as the Three Kingdoms period, Zhuge Liang. Zhuge Liang started using the natural gas from the salt wells to cook salt. Zigong's technology for extracting salt from wells is still unique in the world. Sichuan cuisine has become one of the top 8 cuisines. Well salt is the most important part of Sichuan cuisine. Have you ever eaten well salt?